we're welcoming in now Jake Zuloff, who is a uh, Texas native. And, Coach, I don't know what kind of impression you made on him, but he told me when he were, you recruited him initially out to Grand Canyon, didn't really want to be that far from home, came out anyway. Huh. Then when you recruited him here to UCA, didn't want to be that far from home, came here anyway. So whatever your pitch is, you must be awfully good at it. Well, uh, Jake's not the smartest guy. <laughs> no, no he, he actually is. He, he graduated in uh, three years. And uh, that allowed him to transfer here and play immediately with okay. two years eligibility. And, wow. uh, you know, when I redshirted him after his, he played his freshman year just a little bit, and he was backing up a guy who was pretty good. And so we decided to redshirt him for his sophomore year, and that was the greatest decision I ever made. Yeah. I'm assuming you've never been through a, a situation like this. I know Coach P has not been as far as uh, not getting wins at this point in the season. For you guys, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you grinding through? Um, I, don't, I don't really know what it is. I, I, I've thought about that before. Um, it, it's just something about the guys. But it's, I, I've never really seen anybody, like a, a group of guys that's so well and like just close-knit that we don't the, – the, the, the losing stinks. But, I mean, we're, like I've never seen guys that will just c keep coming back, still happy, still not – I mean, most guys that I would think would just be depressed. But every day we come back, we're still trying to fight it out. Uh, I, I don't know. It's definitely a grind trying to get through the losses, but, um, I mean, you just can't dwell on it. It's, it's going to get better. There's, there's no way it could get any worse, you know. I mean, we're <laughs> – but, but, <laughs> but, I mean, uh, I, I love the guys, and the guys, we all love each other. So, uh, it, it's, a, it's just a great atmosphere. I know eventually it's just going to come together, and one day it's going to click, and then we'll put it together, and we'll just start getting wins under our belt.
Coach, uh, I mean, again, if you didn't have a stake in the game, it was just a great college basketball game, back and forth, a lot of, you know, swings back and forth. You guys took a 12-point lead, and it looked different to me than when you guys took a 10-point lead earlier and you celebrated like you won something. I think your guys realized they still had work to do. Unfortunately, had a chance there to maybe push it out to 14, 15, 16 points. Couldn't quite do it, and you knew the Demons were going to make a run, and they did. Yeah, they did, and, and, and I think the, the first and foremost, I was extremely proud of our, our team, and I just told them that is that you know, if, if we play at that level with our effort, we're going to win some games, and, and in time when we get a little bit bigger and stronger and add some pieces to it, this is going to be a good basketball team. We have the ingredients. It's just that we hadn't put it together. Tonight was the closest thing. Uh, we, we, we were very close. Even when they got us down to start the second half, uh, we would have folded like a cheap suit most of the time, and instead we, we hung in there. So I, I was proud of our effort. Uh, we still made some mistakes that really cost us, but, uh, you know, with that type of effort, we'll, we'll be fine. We did it, Charlie. at and ts network now has the nation's strongest LTE signal. Let's go tell everybody. We're doing things like putting LTE radios at the top of our towers to maximize power and give you the strong signal you deserve. That's awesome. Isn't it awesome? So you all optimized it? We optimized it. People of Earth. Oh boy. America's strongest LTE signal is here! I see like gleams of light sometimes that like it's that they're that they're clicking, they're playing together, and I'm like, these are these are just freshmen right now. Like imagine like a year, a year later, even two or three years down the road, even though when I'm not here, that like this team's gonna be together and like and they're a good core team. They like they hang out like they're best friends, their brothers and things of that, like things like that. And it's just it's great to see. One of our one of our coaches said something to me yesterday and he's like, It's basically like you're just depositing to a bank, depositing to a bank, and then one of these days we're gonna we're gonna uh, basically make that withdrawal. I think that's what we're doing right now. We're just uh, trying to set a good foundation for our guys to let them, let them know like, this is the right way to win. And then uh, they're, they're starting to see success even uh, this past Tuesday in the game, and they're starting to see that, that, uh, that the process is actually working. And I think, that, I think that, that gives them confidence and gives them even more energy when they come to practice now, even more energy when we go through like little basic drills that are actually going to uh, apply to the game. If you were to look like at our practices and in our locker room and how we treat each other, you wouldn't know we're 0-19 or 0-20 or 0-18, but uh, we just really stay together. We really work hard and we know one day when we break through, it's going to be a great moment. So we just really keep our minds focused. We keep working hard and listen to coach because we know he has a lot of great things to say. And even though uh, it's not going great right now, we know we can look forward to the future, but we want the future to start now. I knew we had uh, seven freshmen that were going to have to play and all, out of our 11 players, but I knew what I was getting into and I really look forward to the opportunity, especially knowing I was going to get to play a lot and getting to play under Coach Pennell, who I've known since I was, I was six or seven. So knowing the, the type of man and type of coach he was, I knew what I was getting into and I just really was looking forward to it, even if there was struggle. You're born amazing, and at Baptist Health, we want to keep you that way. In fact, that's our mission. To not only provide the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury, and comprehensive care to support your recovery, but also to be your guide to health. Also, you can keep on inspiring, keep on reaching, and keep on amazing. See some of Baptist Health's amazing stories at keeponamazing.com. Now listen. You're going to get a lead like you did the other night. This time, we're going to handle that lead. Yeah. This time, we're going, to, we're going to ride that thing out, and we're going to get that dub today. Yeah. Let's go to work. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Go. Play hard, baby. Play together, man. Good work, baby.
Uh, so you guys never trailed in the game. Mm -hmm. You get up 18. What are you guys thinking at the half? What was the discussion point? Coach was just really emphasizing never give up. Just keep pushing it on them. And that's, uh, that's one of the things we need to improve on is when we have a lead containing it and just keeping it. So uh, teams can't make pushes, but even though they made a push back, we really made sure we, we stuck together and fought it out. It looks like you guys are growing. You know, I mean, the last two games, now you look at the way you guys have played, and, I mean, really, it, it looks like a completely different team from that game down at New Orleans, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does. It does. And it, and it feels like it, too. Every Just the energy, the defense. That's where it started in the defense. That's what we noticed. Coach said they shot something like 36%, and that's just really what our emphasis was. Uh, start on defense and let the offense come and that's what's been going on so what uh what, what were you thinking as the as the buzzer sounded Cause, i mean we weren't sure if there was going to be a foul called on mike or what i mean there was a lot of contact over there uh but there was had to be a great sense of relief finally when the buzzer sounded yeah we were just ready to celebrate because yeah. finally we've we've worked so hard the northwestern game was like a big confidence booster for us mm -hmm. so we just rolled that momentum into this game like we had a big lead and coach is always preaching we got to learn how to play for the lead we're young it's going to come with time, and finally we broke through, and I think we can keep this up. Does it feel like you thought it would? Uh, yeah, better, better. Okay. I've, I've almost forgotten what it felt like. I was going to say, it's been a long time for sure. There's no question. Um, from your perspective, talk, walk me through what you expected to see and what you saw the last 20 seconds or so because it was kind of a wild flurry there at the end. Jeez, man, I, I don't know. I thought I was – I was so nervous whenever I, I remember I got one rebound through to Jordan. It bounced off his hands a little bit, and I was like, shoot, man, we're about to turn it over. But then luckily we got the foul. He sunk one. And then second in, Maddie came for a huge block, and I got the got the rebound, and then I threw it out to Matt or threw it out to Mike, and Mike, I don't, I think he got pushed and then slipped, and then luckily they just broke the free or break the the three point prayer, yeah. yeah, and it turned out well for us. So not maybe not what I expected, but I expected to win, so that works. Well, Coach, congratulations to you. First off, it's great to get that first one this year. Yeah, Justin, uh, as I told the guys, uh, we we have the longest winning streak of the year. We're at one. I love it. And uh, we're also undefeated on Joel Fiegler's birthday, so uh, that's another one. So a happy birthday. <laughs> it, was, it was good. It, it was, uh, I'm really happy for these guys. In fact, uh, when I first went into the locker room, I, I went straight to my office, and I just kind of stood back there and listened. And uh, just the, the jubilance that was coming out of that locker room, you would have thought we won the national championship. And, and, and you know what, it, it, that's, that's the way you ought to celebrate victory. Sometimes we don't celebrate them enough, and, and uh, certainly this year they haven't been coming, but uh, I, I want them to enjoy it today. They need to, they need to bask in their hard work, and, and I'm real proud of them. We're on a one-game winning streak. Yeah! I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the way you, you hung in there because, you know, and I don't think anyone knows, even us, how much pressure there is when you're trying to win a game. And, and it just kind of mounted because there were some bizarre things that happened. Like Mike at the end, I've never seen Mike just fall down yeah, like that. Good. I mean, just it's, some things happen. And, and so uh, the, the big thing is this. It was, uh, it was hard fought. Give them credit. They made a heck of a comeback. But you guys stood up against it. And I think you saw tonight when you play defense, mm -hmm. you're pretty good. And enjoy your victory. Let's go right Yeah! Get yeah. 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 hot, Tass. Let's go, baby. Family on three, family on three, one, two, three, family. You know, any cowboy worth his salt has a great hat. Of course, a cowboy who has a love of the delicious grilled chicken sandwich from Zaxby's has a very special hat with a secret compartment to keep his sandwich hot until he's ready to eat it. The Grilled Chicken Sandwich Meal. Grilled chicken topped with honey mustard and lettuce on a brioche bun served with crinkle fries and a small Coca-Cola freestyle drink. Zaxby's, indescribably good.